Um, <clears throat> next is from Edgar Ramos, and the subject is CM Punk going off script and having backstage heat. Good morning, Conan, Disco, and Joe, the Ramos reviewer here. And uh, Good morning, Conan, Disco, and Joe, the Ramos reviewer here. And I was just wondering what you guys think of CM Punk going off script and having backstage heat. Me, personally, I'm glad Punk went off script so he could express what he thinks of Hangman and Bang Moxley. Thank you, P.S. You guys make great content. Uh, we already discussed this in a previous email. Yeah, and we discussed it even more fully on last week's show. Well, let me just say this, that I think that the if he did go off script, it has made for better promos because he wasn't bringing it. And that's one of the main reasons I tuned in. Mm-hmm. If it is a work, great work, but where the f*** is the payoff? You know, because right. like I said, like Disco says with the MJF, where's the payoff? I mean, like well, when- what, what if what if it's as simple as is what's his name cost him the title? If it's that, if it's that, that would if be it, good. It, it, it makes sense. That you would know? be good. That's but honestly, true. before they work, and they should, brother, the, the, that show needs to be written a certain way too, because like you don't, you know, they need to build a thread going into that match. They need to have they need to have Adam Cole come, uh, Adam Page come out and address the comments. Maybe have. Punk come out and address him. Now, now here you got Adam Page getting in his head, and they got an issue. And now here he is; he's fighting for the title later on against Moxley. And you could you could build that thread through throughout the show and do it. And then if the match is not the main event, I don't know what these guys are doing. Well, but then, and the other you know, thing, and the other the problem also you run to if it is a work. Now you're going to have problem convincing people in the future, you know, about things being real, even if they are, because right. everybody's going to now think it's a work. Right. Next is some Narks Rigagig. And the uh, con- weekly contributor here to the, the mailbag. Subject is Woods trashing, trashing bloodline. Recent guys have been a bunch of comments about Xavier Woods running his mouth on his up, up, down show. So I hope that is a good one for you. Woods was playing WWE 2K22 in the career mode. And he got his third title shot against Roman Reigns. And for the third time, the Usos ran at the last minute, causing either a DQ yeah. or giving bloodline the chance to beat you down three on one. Woods went off on a rant saying that it was boring for the game. And that's just like how it's boring in real life, too. Question is, what do you think about Wood's comments? Do you think that the bloodline has already gotten into NWO territory with having the same finishes too often? Think, Bro, I, he's he's smart. He knows what he's, he's saying just there. Being he's, a yeah. Right, right. That's boy. Some of these fans really like listen to like a comment and like dig deep. You know, so I don't know. 